three best indicators to use in your charts. And guys, this is nothing complicated. This is something that is very easy for you to put in your charts. They are already there in trading view. They you're not paying anything. They are free, and they can help you to uh, to 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 increase your trading results. So, guys, my name is Esther Mofri. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I will try to use these indicators as we try to analyze the charts. I'll be doing back testing trying these indicators so that it can make more, uh, it can give you the feeling of when you use it. So the first indicator we are on trading view, uh, will be analyzing GBP USD and, uh, I'm on the, I'm on the daily time frame. I like putting everything before I go to four hour to look for entry. Daily time frame shows me if I'm on the right track monthly and weekly already that you have done because that's where I start my analysis. But for the purpose of this video, because I want to show you how to even the, how the indicators come in, let's stick to daily time frame. So guys, my first indicator, the first indicator that these days I am using it so often, it's the moving average. And I use 200 moving average, 50 moving average and 20 moving average. And I've told you guys, the 200 moving average just gives me the direction of the market. So if I put 200 moving average on this current chart, this is what I get. Yes, I know this is an uptrend, but just putting the moving average and seeing it that the price is above the moving average, you have even more confirmation that yes, it's a long-term buy. It's a long-term uptrend so the moving average when it is below the price you know the, the the market is uptrend when the moving average is above the price you know the market is downtrend so for us in this case our moving average and the the, the price is above moving average or whichever way you want to 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 put it you can say that when the price is above or when the moving average is above the price so in this case we have a long term a long term buy so when we shift the time, if I shift this time to weekly time frame, the moving average will change. Again, the moving average, uh, the price is above the moving average, giving us a bigger picture that this market is on uptrend. And then when I go now to monthly, this monthly, uh, let's see where the moving average is. It's almost touching the moving average. And now this is where everything changes. The more you go to higher time frame, the moving average starts to change. So all you can do or uh, what you can do, you can just put a, a red line there and say if this market is will continue to go up, that's where the market is trying to reach because it wants to it is being it wants to uh, go uh, approaching that 200 DMA. Let's go back to our daily. So that line we have it. So if this market will ever go up, maybe that's the direction it wants to take. So the next moving average we want to put um, is the 50 moving average. We still want to see where the market is at the 50. So you can see if you want to buy this market, don't go and buy because now you know the market is above. No, you wait for this market to pull back to 50 for you to get an entry. And that's how we use moving average as an indicator. So you will you will allow the market to come down. After it comes down to 50 reacts, now you can get in the buy. So that is the moving average. And guys, let me tell you, these indicators, you can't just use it by themselves. You need to analyze the charts the normal way. Monthly, analyze with trend lines. Weekly, look for patterns and everything. Then put your trend line, uh, put your moving average. When you do that, now you have so many confluences to support whatever you are doing. So the, the next the next indicator I will use is the RSI. RSI shows me a, an overbought market or an oversold market. RSI. So we'll just go to our our indicators. Let's go to our indicators and then we put we just type uh, uh, RSI. So this is uh, the RSI is called. Uh, relative strength index so whenever i put the rsi in my chart this one it wants to tell me an overbought market and in this case the market has been trending up of course you don't want to come and just buy because oh the price is above 200 dma you can see from from when this market has been an uptrend since 
March 2020, almost uh, how, uh, to now uh, 2021. So it's like one year of uptrend. So sometimes you want to see, is the market overbought? Where will we know the market is overbought? So you can see this RSI. How do we use the RSI indicator? What happens, what happens is the the RSI you see the RSI need to be below uh below 70 it needs to be below 70 if it's not an overbought market the minute it comes out and it is like uh, in this case it was 79 if it is 79 uh 80 if it is 81 just know that market is oversold in this at this moment is at 68 so the market the rsi supposed to be 70 you can see here there's 70 we have 70 and uh and the 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 the, the rsi is 70 here so if it passes 70 just know that market is overbought so you can just put that indicator whenever you see the market is going uptrend for a very long time so let's play and see what really happens so the market continue to go up the market continue to go up and you can see you can see the minute the market went up you can see the rsi all along the rsi was below 70 this is what i'm selling you guys you can see the rsi here it is 74 so immediately the RSI was 74, we would know now our market is overbought. It's time for this market to either give us a pullback or it gives us a pullback or it reverses. It can do two things. So RSI is a good indicator to just give you that confirmation or confident that when a market is overbought, now you can hope in. There are so many people who sold at this point. There are so many people who sold at this point. There are so many people who sold here and they got the money, but there are so many people who sold whenever the, 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 the sale was, uh, was ending. So the, at this moment, anyone who is selling here, they have higher chances of gaining in this market. So one thing we know, our RSI is overbought and then we know now uh, how to use the moving average. And then now the last thing I'll show you. So that you can see if we combine the three, it will have a good trade. The last thing and the last indicator I'll show you, it's called IATR. ATR is average true range. ATR, average true range. This indicator now, at least this is an indicator. It helps you whenever you are trying to put in your stop loss. And I'll show you how. Let's say you want, you want to sell in this market. This if you want to sell using daily time frame, and this is where you want to sell. Let me give you. If you want to sell at this market, uh, let me. So that you can see it. If you want to sell here, let's say you have seen this bearish momentum candle on daily, and you say, "Wow, I will sell this market." Until now, I told you our 50 MA, 20 MA is to spot where we want the market to reach. I will sell it up to 20 MA. That's my take profit. So you enter the market, target 20 MA. I don't know how many pips are those. Because there's no way you can target, you won't target 50 MA if the market has not reacted to 20. So let me uh, bring that close. So if at all we want to enter this market, our target our target is 20 EMA. So uh, let's let's see our target. That's our target. You just put a line like that. That's my target. Let me uh, make this clear, and I show you how to use now the ATR. So you can see RSI. It is showing us. You see here. The RSI is the first one. It is showing us the market was overbought uh, by 77. It's supposed to be under 70. So whenever it goes 72 and 72, you know it's an overbought. We have a very bearish candle. Uh, it's a bearish engulfing momentum candle. So we have an entry there. 
according to daily. First confluence, our indicator told us the market was overbought. The other indicator, uh, the other confluence we, uh, we, we needed is the momentum candle because I always say about the candles, candle, candles. Now we can get in. And then the moving average, it's telling us where to target. That's the best thing with this with the, the the indicators i'm showing you that the 20 ma is showing us if this market comes down that's uh, uh where we are targeting and that market is 200 pips guys so we'll enter with that market close that candle close and then target exactly exactly that uh at that level now where will we put our stop loss where will we put our stop loss so whenever you come to this uh whenever you bring this rs uh the the atr we have 105 pips so the the market should be uh the 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 atr is showing us if you want to 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 enter this trade you are you are your pips should be at 105 so it will be like a one is to one so 105 let's see where it is so it's like at the end of that candle so this average this atr give us the true average and it's telling us the market cannot go beyond there so let's see if it is telling the truth because sometimes when you're putting stop loss you're like yes i will make a hundred pips but i was risking a hundred pips so let's see what happens and you see immediately even if we had a very tight stop loss because the atr didn't give us all the way it told us 105 pips it told us 105 pips. And what happened, guys? The market hit our TP like just like that. Immediately, our TP was hit, and it's because we targeted the 20 MA. Anyone who targeted the 50 MA, they are still not, it has not hit the 50 MA. And anyone who had targeted blindly, not knowing where to put the, the, the take profit, still they are wondering why is my TP not hit. But for us, we have used rsi for overbought market to know it is time to enter the market and then when you are told it's time to enter wait for a big momentum candle we have the big momentum candle after entering the market where is our stop loss we used our atr atr is showing us this market put 105 pips because you're using daily if we were using four hours it could be less if you're using 30 minutes the stop loss will be less just because we are using daily time frame and the market can come back at that moment and but still go down and daily time frame it's best whenever you are working or you are busy you just put 100 pips 105 pips stop loss and then you put 100 pips take profit and then you do risk management if your account is small use the smallest lot size if your account can hold use good lot size so and then we used moving average moving average was for our tp so guys those are the three best indicators that you can use moving average it will always give you two signals it will give you a signal of entry a, a signal of entry uh, it will give you three signals entry signal take profit signal or the long-term trend so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed the video until next time bye bye love you